Should pop it in Discord. Yeah. That's sort and time in a scramble. But uh yeah, let's go find a fantasy. Alright. E <laughs> uh yeah, that that is part of the Pixel Remaster strategy. I don't know if I'm going to do it in, in the sense of that if, if it happens I might just let it but also I'm not, I'm not exactly well versed on the pixel remaster route. Anyway, just a second. I generally run the PSP version of the game, which uh, has its own set of glitches. But the Pixel Remaster version of Final Fantasy 1 and all the Final Fantasy Pixel Remasters have released with boost options that allow you to go up to four times experience and four times money. And I'd also turn encounters on and off. So they haven't, I don't think there's an official position on the uh on the final fantasy one and two speedrun board yet on what they're gonna do about boost so this is not like an official run by any means <laughs> this is me like fucking around so i do have the uh the pixel remaster route and i have seen some of it before it's it's final fantasy one so i have played it a couple of times lately So I'm going to be following the, the Pixel Remaster route, but I'm going to be putting on four times Gil and experience. Because I want to see how what kind of bullshit that ends up with. Like, the route is very, um, like, EXP and Gil hungry. And so it could be quite funny seeing how this, uh... How, how this goes with boosts. I'm interested in finding out, so. I believe that the Pixel Remaster route, at least the, I'm gonna go to the risky one because I feel ballsy. Pat the Moogle and the cow. So the ballsy one is warrior, monk, and two black mages. <laughs> Uh, this is extremely the, uh, the, the faster but ballsy one. <laughs> and if I fail, I fail. It's fine. This is just for fun. Alright. That's the warrior, monk, black mage one, black mage two... 
Oh, can I, uh... <laughs> That's quite funny. Oh, I, de I definitely, yeah, I definitely call one funsy, for sure. It's funny that it's like six full character. Uh, twelve half characters, which is kind of funny. So it's very funny that Saran is one. <laughs> Ooh, Andy with two eyes. I'll go with Neon. Uh, if anyone else has a name, uh, I'll overwrite the other two names that I, I just randomly picked. Uh, but get it in soon, because I will be starting up soon. Alright, Funzy Neon, Seren, Andy. Alright. I have the route. I'm... <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Alright, alright, let's, uh... I believe it basically starts to do with the timer up, I think. Ooh, Bill? Alright, yeah. Under the wire. Here we go. Bill. I believe time starts here. Again, this is not exactly an official run. Just get that, and hope oh, I need to get my timer. I don't know where my timer is. There my timer is. Hello. Building <laughs> the fight you got. Yeah, all right. So. So I believe this isn't skippable <laughs> in this version. At least the guide has, like, starting credits, uh... 155, so I don't believe it's skippable. I've, pr I've pressed the buttons. None button works. Thank you for the raid. I'm gonna be playing FF1 Pixel Remaster kind of maybe a little fast. I'm gonna give it a go. <laughs> I'm gonna be using the uh, the boosts that are available in this version because I wanna I wanna see how funny that is. Really, I'm here for a lot. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I was trying to go left and that came up and I was like, Arr! All right, so memory on, uh, run. Boost, here we go. I want encounters on because I actually do want to get four times experience and skill. So I'm going up, buying one rapier. Gosh, I am so close to the screen, it's actually a little, uh, disconcerting. I may have to move further away. And then up to Black Magic. Here I will be buying... Two Thunders. Yeah. <laughs> Out the way, buddy! 
All right, tell me if I get too quiet. Well, I'll just I'll just yell as I sit further away. <laughs> we go. Yeah, you can walk diagonally in this version that fucks me up. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is this? No one should be allowed to walk diagonally. Oh lord, uh, I only got like one bad encounter, so... We'll see how this goes! <laughs> I might not be strong enough to take him without getting murdered. <laughs> yeah, I got murdered. I probably should have just like, oh dear. Alright, alright, I'm going to try and get a second encounter. This is, uh, th this is just... <laughs> this is just what this is like. I was expecting to get two encounters, I got none enc and I got an encounter with one wolf, which is not, like, ideal. <laughs> I was kind of hoping to... The other thing is I might want to buy a couple of potions just for safety. Wow, alright. Again, I haven't ever run this before, so like, this is definitely like, figuring things out on the fly with the boosts. <laughs> I got a little unlucky he targeted my mages, to be honest. He's supposed to target Bill like 50% of the time. That was a much better one. <laughs> that was a little that was a little bit better. I lost quite a bit of time there. <laughs> Like, my one encounter being one wolf was like, what the fuck? <laughs> this time I definitely knocked him down, yes. It doesn't let you move for a little bit. I was like holding left, Justine. It didn't let me move for a while. Bridge scene. Bridge scene. All right, build that bridge. So in the Pixel Remaster, you want to fight, like, a lot of things. What's your bitch have to do with anything? Don't worry about it. Now we're going to rest at the inn. I am level four, so yeah, I definitely got that boosted experience. Run. 
should probably be buying potions for safety, but whatever. Can I skip this one? It doesn't look like I can skip <laughs> anything. Is it head to bridge for bridge credits? Like, let me. The PSP version let me skip this. <laughs> Alright, our quest is beginning. We did. We are feeling a bit overwhelmed by the task place before me. <laughs> It's just like, but to be fair, the ideal is getting to level four and resetting if anyone <laughs> dies. Um, you get weird gill route and levels. That's the thing about the Pixel Remaster run and why I haven't done it just straight up. It's because the start of the game is exceedingly tight and you have to watch these cutscenes every time. But like that garland fight, that garland fight, like... The one encounter on the way there, I did not get enough experience, and then he just murdered me, which was funny. BFF1 has, it doesn't have a front row and a back row, so it has like weighted uh, attack probabilities. So like the one in the first slot is attacked 50% of the time, the second slot is 25%, and oh, that's a nasty one. Don't like the fact that we have a war wolf here. So I am going to kill it with the... Uh, with thunder. <laughs> anyway, the auto battle does speed up the battle as well, but you kind of have to watch out and make sure you don't get hit by uh, doing it on the next turn. Yeah, at some point the random encounters are gonna go off. Not at this point in the game because I just I every bit of experience and money is like super necessary, and every bit I get now is helpful. I assume, like, it's probably gonna be much later when I've basically gotten all the levels and money I need. Yeah, you can change the experience, like, as much as you want. I will go rest because I had to use some thunders before I go take on the pirates. Okay, so I have 2,500 gil. I have no idea how much gil you're supposed to have, but I'm going to be ballsy and I'm going to assume I have enough gil for basically everything. <laughs> so it's like your gil route will be tighter if you go buy these now and I'm like, I'm getting four times. It's probably fine, right? It's probably fine. Yeah, there's no. The, the options are 0, 0 0.5, 1, 2, and 4 times. And I do love the granularity of that. Wow, one of my black mages has got so much more health than the other. Oh, Neon, you are low rolling, aren't you, buddy? That's gonna be a fun time for you later on.
Give me your ship. Okay, so it doesn't go to, uh, doesn't go to the shop here, like the item shop. It must do it in Alfheim. I'm probably gonna go rest up in Corneria. versions of Final Fantasy um, because there were two reasons. One, I didn't have a NES or a SNES. Oh boy. Uh, my HP numbers are getting blue. I'm not, I'm not having much uh, fun with it. I'm getting loads of encounters and I haven't gotten any potions yet. to stop off in Corneria. No! Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, you can you can throw some thunders. This guy is gonna have to defend. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Shit going quite bad for me. Let's try and run. That was a bad getting three encounters there. That was harsh. Oh, got to run, got to run. Woo! That was unlucky. That, that was also nasty encounters as well. <laughs> it really doesn't buy any potions until, uh... Until Elfheim. I'm gonna buy some potions. <laughs> There's also the option of choosing a, a less risky partner, um... Uh, less risky, um, method is to choose a white mage instead of two black mages. I don't know if you buy, like, you don't really buy cure, though, I don't think. I don't know how helpful this is. Oh, 97 and 79 health. Everyone's level 9, which is kind of the level, um, that I recommend being at the marsh. Okay, what am I doing? I don't need 1600 or 2600. <laughs> I'm good. I'm, I'm at 6600. Four times Gil is. I, I, it's gonna be really interesting seeing what like real speedrunners of this game will do with boosts. <laughs> All right, so it's a thousand for Thundaras. And like, you can't, you have to grind if you want two normally without like four times on it. Search, strength, ah, yes. Here we sell. That's really not much to sell. Some clothes. Um. Yeah, okay. It goes into the item shop. Buys 11 potions. 300 notes, I'm probably gonna buy. I have leeway, so I'm gonna buy some stuff. Mm. 
ten. All right. Head and out. Oops. <laughs> okay. Forgot I went in the go. It still it deposits you there. The oracles. Not exactly what I want. So yeah, Thundara is interesting. I'll probably use one. These guys are kind of nasty. It says if you have a ten, there fights with Thundara while fleeing. Makes sense. All right. Alright, so we're heading to Marsh Cave, which is always a fun time. Wolves. Ooh, maybe I should have bought two ten. What the hell am I doing? Got two Thundaras on both? I probably don't need to. Oh, so I should just make a... Make a safe save as well. <laughs> Alright, we're actually picking up some items here as well. Thank you. The mobs here are dangerous. I'm gonna use some potions. Yeah, the shitty cave, that sucks. I do have ethers, so I can... A lot more than you would normally have at this point, so I can actually, like... Like, blast? Oh, that's fine, that's attacking. Preemptives are great, I can just go in when the attacks. Alright, so I think I'm picking up some chests. Not sure what the orange and the red thing is. I wonder if it's orange is like you can actually like go through these horizontally, like diagonally. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Probably do some thunders here. It ran away. What a jerk. Yeah, I, I feel like I hate the marsh cave more. Ew, werewolves too. Like, the Marsh Cave has a lot of poison enemies. It's really early in the game so that you basically have, like, no resources. You have, like, no spell charges. Yeah, there's, like... There's a phoenix down and a cottage. Ah, uh, ew, I hate these guys. I'm gonna just blast the Thundara and then use a, uh... The ether. Phoenix down, and then there's a cottage over to the right. Yeah, scorpions. Eat the scorpion. Ew! 
Oh, I'm poisoned. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh, Andy's gonna die. Yeah, Andy died. <laughs> oh, shit. I pressed the attack. Oh, attack back on. That's a little annoying. Uh, probably just gonna have to spend the Phoenix down I just got here. That was a little annoying. Damn, I had two poison people. Scorpions are definitely a pain in the butt. I do at least have extra money that I can probably buy a phoenix down. Nah, one further down, one further down. That's nice. Let's run good. You know what? These uh, fights are annoying enough, and I should have enough uh, experience now that I'm going to just turn them off. I'm done. Done with their bullshit. <laughs> yeah, they did fix the font. Oops, oh, didn't mean to flee. Fuck. Ah. Damn it, damn it. That was a mistake. Uh, I I platinumed the FF1 Pixel Remaster. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I am now speedrunning it. Attempting to, fucking it up. Uh, just clicked through too fast and went on flee. Which is a bit of a pain. It just means I took an extra turn of damage that I didn't need to. These guys give 4,800 kill on four times experience. Give me that crown! The platinum was pretty easy. The only hard part was you have to do the bestiary, um, and the war mech is a pain in the ass. But uh, in this game, there isn't really anything missable, so like, it really wasn't too bad at all. I'm, I'm gonna keep encounters off for the rest of the cave because this cave is so annoying. I hate this cave so much. Alright, so I think I'm just heading out now. Now, use the tent. Ah, still is my... Kill me again, the fucker. <laughs> he killed me in my PSP run, uh, just to ruin my day. I'm gonna turn encounters back on, because these ones are a lot easier. They're nowhere near as, as onerous, so. Sometimes cursor memory can fuck you off. All right, Astos. <laughs> you gonna you gonna troll me again? He is an asshole. And he did get me very thoroughly when I played this through casually, so... <laughs> he is, in fact, a jerk. Dad, we're dead. We're good. Woo! 
Oh, he's such a dick. That Thundara is so mean and you don't have anything to deal with it. Still I we we're heading back to Alfheim, not before I fucking heal up. You can really see the RNG coming into play here with my two black mages, and one is just much lower health than the other. I'm going to be resting at the inn, so I might as well blast some Thundaras. A poor monk died, but it's this is fine. buy here might be too expensive for me to really want to get right now. Oh, jerks. Alright. Based on both, but it's quite expensive. Do you have 23,000? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna buy it now. <laughs> I have the money. I'm also gonna go buy a lot more potions. <laughs> yeah, okay, the good thing later on, when later on the guys like flee from everything, I can just turn encounters off. And just be like, encounters? No thanks. Uh, I do need to buy a Phoenix Down to make up for the one I did not get. I how much money I need. I need 9,000 for Kanira to buy a lot of stuff I already bought, so I'm gonna go for it so I don't have to come back. In haste. I do love the auto battle. The auto battle is very helpful. It it can like absolutely destroy me, but. also pretty good. The good thing about levels is it gets me um, spell charges. Just one. And the more spell charges I have, the, the better for sure. But yeah, the auto battle does speed up the the animations, which is really nice. Just put that on full speed, let's go. Hey Matoya. Yeah, have you lost an eye?
Uh, I certainly did not steal your eye. Thank you for the follow. Thankfully, she doesn't hold. She does not hold us accountable for the eye. So, so I probably don't need to grab Lisa because I have so much money. But I'm not gonna free free potions and then go to good homes. Pretty good. All right, we're heading back to Ephraim to uh, to wake up the prince. Oops. So what happens when I put auto battle on my accident. Really wanted to Thundara everything. Really all well on until back to Thundara. It definitely is, you put four times experience and kill on. I did have, like, two times skill on quite a bit in my, like, casual run, just because it does, like, smooth out a lot of the gill having. Like, if you're not fighting absolutely every encounter or, or wandering around lost, you will actually be quite gill poor. So it was nice to just have a button just be like, eh, I don't need to grind as much for money. Fine. Fine, wolves. Get Thundarid. Oh my god, you can't go in the castle from, from the top in this version. Okay, you can in the PSP version. I, I know that for sure. I have to kill Tonic to you. Playing three, and there's a lot of the same plot beats. Out, out my way, buddy. So we're picking up the chests. Then I'm gonna rest at Elfheim. I used up a lot of Thundaras. Yeah, wake him up with a monster energy drink. Oh, it doesn't equip the Mithril Hammer. Okay, okay, it just sells it. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. We can have anything optimal for those two. Weighted. They changed it in like basically every version, but I, I think that like might be weighted based on agility or it might be completely and utterly random. I don't remember. I don't know what they did in this version, but it definitely feels like completely random, I do have to say. Alright, so I think I actually have basically all the items it wants me to buy. Like 35 potions, 20 ah, I don't have enough ethers, 5 antidotes, got that, 2 golden needles, and 2 phoenix dynamite. Buy a few more of everything, I have the money. What else buy? I buy ten which I already have bought. Uh, oh 
Oh, yeah, and the original is like, yeah, it's a list. <laughs> and then there was like 16 swaps. <laughs> Yeah, it's so, so weird. My monk has gotten really low HP rolls, I've just realized. Like, damn, that monk is low health as hell. Alright, so we're heading to the dwarf cave. I wonder what it does in the pixel remaster. predisposed to going first. <laughs> Because it's in spell charges rather than MP again. Ethers heal one spell charge per level, and she's this way. And kind of annoying. I mean, it's nice to have them. Oh, fuck. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I was going to Canary for the Nitro Powder. Damn, idiot. Ah, completely. Completely blanked on that. I wasn't just going for for items. I was going to the castle to get the nitro powder. Oh, I totally, totally fucked that up. No encounters. No encounters. We're do that. Encounters off. For my trip back. Oops. Dumb. Dumb. All right. I think I have to go outside the castle. I don't know yet. Outside and then in here. Here's the mystic key. Here's the nitro powder that I needed. You can tell I have never run this version of the game. All right. You think I've never run the PSP version? <laughs> oh, all right. It, this is fine. No encounters means this is actually only like a minute. It's fine. I was like, why isn't he blowing up the tower? I was like, ah, oh, shit. He should be making an earth-shattering kaboom. It's very funny having two black mages. It might be based on agility now. I know that in FF3 they have... It's based on agility in terms of a random factor is agility. But if you have, like, twice the agility of the enemy, you will always go first. Because of the, the random number it adds is like a range based on your agility or something. Alright, we're gonna raid the dwarves. I assume because they have lots of uh, lovely consumables for us to have for free. They sure do. Uh, 
I'm just gonna keep encounters off until I get to Melmond. Once I get two Firagas, which makes sense, cost 8,000. And also sell some stuff, which I did not do yet. Mithril Hammer, the Mithril Knife, also sells the Mithril Mail. And the warm plant. I'll keep the uh, warm killer for now. And it buys one silver on that. I'm gonna buy two. Ah, I think the uh. Oh, right. Armlet goes. For some reason, they have armlets on the body in this one, which is just. Buys it for the weaker one, but they've turned around. Funzy is now the lower HP one. That's, that's your randomness for you. But the thing we are especially here for is Firaga on both of these guys, which is 4,000 each. The gill route when you don't have four times gill is, is very strict. Alright, now we're making our way to the Earth Cave. It says it's essential to take as many fights as you can. You level up, which makes sense. Yeah, the part where it's running to the buy screen is, is very good. So I have I have three Firagas right now. Yeah, so Black Mage spell charges are tied to their level and their damage is tied to their intelligence. Okay, Ent 12, Ether Hand, and Second Visit. Especially with spell charges. We don't need to do that as much because I bought a whole bunch more Ethers, but. They also bought a few tents, so I can tent up here. All right, in we go. Whoops. <laughs> I have to go right, and I'm like, I have to go around the stairs. Ugh. Basement 2 will be picking up a couple of items. I'm not used to picking up items in the in the speed run. Because I made a PSP version we basically only pick up specific things and nothing else. running, but it doesn't appear to be a thing in this version. You do actually have to select flee. Oh, we're picking up some items up here. Gross. Okay, 
So this is where um, you can uh, let your warrior and monk get petrified. <laughs> Which is a little terrifying, but... Head to basement three, make a quick save. <laughs> me and they're almost certainly gonna petrify the wrong things <laughs> if they even get a chance oh okay I got one so they still get experience while petrified but attacks miss So like, it, it's useful in, for your like physical units to uh, to be petrified because they they basically just act as walls for your mages. Get out of my way, keys. Oh, there was a guild chest that I did not get. I'll get it on the way out. I'll get it on the way out. Oh, hello. Now hopefully I don't, uh, die. <laughs> Alright. Two tanks, you got it. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was gonna go with the petrified method, but it <laughs> happened. So, let's leave it as, shall we? Alright. Disco demon. So yeah, essentially that's what happens. Uh, if enemies attack, like, it just, it misses. And so essentially this saves you a lot of, like, potions. <laughs> but they still level, unlike being dead. That would be worse than forgetting the nitro powder, is forgetting the star root. <laughs> I murdered that Dracula. Okay, I'm going to turn counters off because the game is kind of annoying. <laughs> and I'm running a little low on magic. Where's the chest? This this one. Thousand. Money is always good, even with four times money. Every bit of money is so helpful. I'll be back in this cave with encounters turned on, so I'm okay with uh, lowering the number of encounters here for now. Um, I'm going to ten. I don't. Th it says 
tent, so this must, uh, mean that that tent doesn't get rid of stone. It doesn't. Good shit. Encounters here are good because there's an enemy that can drop an item. That would be nice. I don't know if we're gonna get said item. I don't think so, but... Probably not even gonna see said enemy, so... <laughs> Take the star ruby, you jerk! thing is that unless I turn encounters off, fleeing from encounters is like not very fast. <laughs> Often not even faster than just blasting them. Let's go get our items so we can go back to the Earth Cave! Yay! Woo! Nope, not that room. There we go. It's really just like one encounter on this world map that's like helpful to me. Ah, that's it there. The, so I think these are the these lesser tigers can drop X potions. They did not, but they can. It's like a four percent chance. Ah, I went to attack because he's out of Thundaras. I will cottage up, so I'll actually probably just switch into using Firaga. I'll just use a cottage outside of the Earth Cave. So it's like, hey, if you get that X Potion drop, that saves you time, but like, the odds of getting it are... real low. <laughs> oh, Dead Eyes and Drop Elixirs. Uh. I'm already level 21, which is stupid. So yeah, so at level 17, we can have four Firaja charges. Which we do currently have. So let's go ahead and cottage. So we need to have three to four per mage by the time we reach uh, the Lich. Which we do have um, ethers, so we don't need to worry too much about that. turn off fights now in the sense that they don't really get me anything until the later floors. Although the later floors ones are a little terrifying. So maybe it's better to get some money and experience here where it's easy and then turn off the encounters when they're mean.
And I just want all the encounters because I want as many levels as I can get my grubby little mitts on. First, like, the later on you have encounters, the more experience and money you get from them anyway. I think when I run out of Thundaras, I will just turn encounters off. I, that, okay, that's the compromise I'm going with. When I run out of Thundaras, I will just be like... I can't, yeah, like, so like one or two more fights. That would just be like, then I'd have to use Thundaga, uh, Firagas, and I would have to uh, use Ethers, and whatever. I can just turn off the counters after this. I think they now have one each. Oh, yeah, magic's really bad against these guys. I think I've now used all my Thundaras. Yep. Off it goes. Now for a leisurely stroll through the rest of the Earth Cave. And hopefully I actually got the Earth Ball. <laughs> Pretty sure. It'd be very funny if I hadn't. I would laugh. The way through here is like... Down and then kind of up and left and up. And this room is very big, but it basically has nothing in it. So... Oh boy, alright. So I believe we have four... Oh, we can even get up to five Firagas, but if I need five, we're kind of dead anyway, so... Alright. So this guy can be a right dick. I hope it says Final Fantasy and not Final Fantasy Thirteen. <laughs> I did change it. Now we are just firagging him until he's dead and hope we don't die. He has 1200 health. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, I might make it through. I might make it through. I mean, we made it! Ah, oh, we made it! We made it! We made it! He did not just, like, blast Sundara twice on my ass. Woo! I all about even makes the death animations go faster, which is very funny. Ah, yeah, now it buys another silver armlet for the Black Mage, so I did just save some time buying two earlier. I like cottages, but I'm just gonna keep encounters off. Make sure I did them off. Yep. <laughs> and I'm gonna aim at Melmond. Keep a cottage for later. It started Firage. And then we're going to Crescent Isle, so... Wait, does In get rid of stone, actually? Ooh. No! <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright. Oh, man. Those... <laughs> Nothing gets rid of stone. You got it. Can't get on from the non-dock. Turn counters back on, for now anyway. The map is going to make it very helpful to navigate the world map, funnily enough. I have a hard time doing it in the PSP version. 
I get very lost very easily. I can probably turn off sea encounters. It's probably not that helpful to me at this point. They're the same encounters we have at any point in the sea, so like... It's really like turn them back on here is where it might be useful for, for money and experience. Alright, we're getting a canoe! Oh, does it? Oh my god! I should pay attention to that tooltip on the fucking bottom of the screen. <laughs> Thank you, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that changes everything. to get Thundaga. I like the town maps as well. They're helpful for uh, seeing where the shops are. Alright, Thundaga. Then we're grabbing our canoe. Oh, that's not, uh, that's not a walk. That's a wall. It's so funny, it's not... It's not the odd one out. It like, gives you the canoe. Alright, we're heading to the ice cavern. Let's go! I wonder if it's like... Spiraga... Thundaga time. Oh no, wait, the ice cave... Right, the ice caves have to get in my boat. That's what it is. Fundaga and just very liberally use my ethers that I have a lot of. Although the encounters in the ice cavern are very scary. So I have four Thundagas and five Piranhas. Okay. I remember how to actually get to the Ice Cavern. I'm definitely here to kill Chaos, and I'm here to kill him with a ridiculous amount of experience and money. Oh, no. Ah, I'm like, the encounters in the ice cavern can be very lucrative. save before I go in there in case they, you know, oh, I kicked my ass like that one just did.
All right. Navigate the ice cave. Protectors, I feel uh, a little bit more secure. And a lot of the old FF designs are really, really good. Oh, that's a, that's a full ass encounter. So many Firagas. Like, there's definitely, like, later on areas where I just don't want to be fighting anything at all. Like, definitely will turn encounters off for, like, the, uh, the underwater temple. I don't want to fight anything in there. They're all a pain in the ass. My area is so hard to navigate at the best of times, I just want to get through it. I'm making money. Alright, I'm probably gonna turn off encounters after this. Oh shit! Oh, I might be dead. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Talking about that's got money in it, then. And that one's got monsters in it. Oops. Oops! Oh, I'm out of Firagas there. Oh, shit. Well, let's be talking about another set of chests. <laughs> yeah, because that's clothes. Ah, oh, jeez, that was not worth it. This is the, there's, ah, so yeah, we're actually getting to see them now. Uh, so instead of encounter tiles, they have like trap chests and they have uh, monster, little, little wizard monsters running around. We haven't seen the wizard monsters yet. This is the first one. They have been around, but just have been, they've been in places we haven't gotten to see. I think this might, is this? Oh god. I'm mean, just wrong about what chest they want me to get. No, that's ice armor. It definitely wanted me to get that. Yeah, grab the ice armor and mithril gauntlet. Head south the six chests. And ignore the top right one. Okay. Mm, ah, further down, that's it, that's it. If you kill me, I'll be most upset. <laughs> oh, 
It's a lot of lose. I'm almost at the HP cut off, so I'm almost at the. That was a lot of money, at least. Um. Jeez, I have like 240,000. Yeah, I could probably stop encounters for money now. Probably just go with the fixed ones. Okay, let's just grab the ether. 10,000, 9,900. Which ones are those? That's an ether. Just quick save in case anything in here kills me. 10,000. Okay. And I presume it's these. Yeah, okay. Let <laughs> me kill for money for now, yes. Alright, Evil Eye is just the Firago, which we do have. And he's now trapped. You can't actually do the, um... You can't actually farm this guy anymore because he's just a one-time now on the, uh, on the Leverstone. He's not an encounter tile anymore, so you can't, you can't cheese it. Now we have to fall and then go down and round, but go up the stairs instead. We will have to fight this guy again. He respawns. Oh shit, ambush, that's not good. That's just a big time loss, really. Hopefully it's not deadly. We're good! They're dead as hell. Encounters off is definitely uh, good now, <laughs> for sure. Freedom! We're pacifists now. Are we though? Because I'm probably gonna turn it on for the river encounters, which are pretty easy. We hate fish, that doesn't count. <laughs> I can at least just thundaga these ones to death very easily. So. Alright, we're gonna get our, uh, our airship. And we've already gotten, we've picked up the hastes already, so we don't need to do that. So I've saved, I don't know, 30 seconds after losing uh, several minutes earlier in the run. This is fine. I'll probably hop back to Crescent to buy some more. Eh, I can probably wait. I can wait. Do that! I can just do that! So much time! Drop my ship here, get on the ca It's so funny that you use the canoe strat there to get the airship. <laughs> okay, we didn't get an X potion, so we will be hopping into somewhere weird. Bam! So I'm probably gonna go over here just for an in. Yeah, they are pretty spry for statues. <laughs> I think, like, our warrior might end up being in a statue for the whole rest of the run. I don't think you un... I don't think you unpetrify. <laughs> and he is there as a meat shield. 
Alright, so we didn't get an X potion. So the route guide says we should go to this hole. I have no idea how correct this is. Yes, because you get an X potion and a whole bunch of gill. Alright. And I don't need to fight for money ever again, huh? No. <laughs> we good, we good. Experience I might want, but money? No, we're, uh, we are, we are set. So we're going up to the waterfall cave. I don't really need to use Thundaga, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Adventures of two black mages and their fat rocks. Yes. <laughs> this is very good. I I still think the PSP version is is the best version uh, to speedrun. I think the equipment glitch is just that good. Um, but having two mages and their pet rock is very funny. So we are over the HP humps for, uh... Gosh, these guys are a little scary with two rocks on. Uh, for Chaos, you want like 240 on your Black Mages and 300 on your Monk. Monk also gets a, uh, ta damage boost at 32, I think? Um, so we are actually kind of at the level we would want to be. I could just turn off all encounters and then just get, like, a bunch more. Oh god, this one's so mean. Uh, get experience from the forced encounter. There are still quite a few forced encounters in the game, and of course the bosses I haven't done yet. So we could just run on that. Take this cube! Where's lower health? You do! <laughs> And then exit the cave. Mission complete. Time to die. I definitely think when it comes to boosts, the most substantial uh, time save is gonna be from like when they would be running from. It, it, the, the experience and the money definitely helps, but it just it mostly just makes your kill and experience roots nicer. Being able to uh, turn off encounters at, at the end when you're just running from everything anyway, I think that's the real uh, the real time save. We're heading to Gaia. Uh, 
This is where we release the fairy! Okay, so we'll be buying Blizzaga. This might be where I spent all my money and we end up having, uh, no money anyway. <laughs> we shall see, we shall see. Fine, rest me up. I've... You know, I don't know. They just do it on the Black Mage. I have no idea if... Putting one on the Monk makes him weird but i'll just i'll buy the two for the black mages i could sell some stuff but there's no real need to i have lots of money all right now we're gonna go get that oxyl i need to re-up any items i probably do just buy a lot of these for the rest of my money and then don't worry about it the rest of the playthrough Let's go get that Oxyel. It's very funny that we entirely skip uh, Marilith, who you're supposed to do uh, before getting the airship, really. It's, it's very funny how cheap ethers are in this game. They're much less good because they're only one spell charge per level. Um... But they're very they're still very useful, don't get me wrong, they're still very, very good, and they're dirt cheap, which is very funny. Alright, we're going to Onrack now. And yeah, I'm just gonna keep encounters off for the sea shrine for sure. I'm all rested up, yeah. First, it's like I do have Fundaga and Blizzaga. Maybe I just like turn them all until I run out of uh, spells again and then I just like turn them off. Oh, that's an annoying encounter. I just get one off. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn them off. These are just so annoying and they're not really worth it. Missed the stairs! Oh no! Okay... There's a little... 
Okay, yeah, that is a diamond armlet. Ah, it gives a diamond armlet to the monk. Ah, that makes sense, that makes sense. Alright, and then it goes up to get the stone. Okay, that's what was confusing, because it actually has the... It has it the wrong way around. It says the slab's down there, and the armlet's up here, and that's what got me confused, because I was pretty sure... I was pretty sure that was the Rosetta Stone. <laughs> Unfortunately, without teleport, I am going to have to uh, go all the way back up, but I don't have encounters on, so, you know, just a matter of doing the walking. Ah, uh, I've totally fucked up. Oh, no. Mm. Ah, I want to go, I want to go left here. That's where it was. This place is so hard for me to navigate. <laughs> okay, now we're back at the first floor and we want to go up here. Over this way, up here. Down there, through here. know which map this is this okay I think I figured it out they've cut off the bottom of this fucking map okay I got it but they cut off the bottom of the map just to make things very confusing for me um, so there's giant gloves and a ribbon it doesn't tell me which one's which <laughs> So, you know, thanks. That's the ribbon. The glove's over here, okay. Oh, they're, the map they posted is extremely bad for this. <laughs> well done on having terrible, terrible map. <laughs> Yeah, the spike tiles means price is very funny. I, I I do wonder if encounter tiles was just I don't know if they just like weren't able to code it or if it was just like they felt like it wasn't consistent with the rest of the series, maybe. Alright, so the giant's glove is actually for do you not have a map for... Uh, doesn't have a map for getting to Kraken. That's a little annoying. Because I don't remember. <laughs> right, he's over... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, there it is. There's the path. Ugh. Wow, like this one room where it'd be really good to have a map on how to get to Kraken. It's like, no, you should know how to get to the Kraken, right? And I'm like, no, I, I don't. I'm putting a map for so much other shit, but not for the Kraken. time. But yeah, like stepping on the, yeah, eight mine third tile over and over again and the, I'm like killing the evil eye a billion times like I do in the PSP version. Not Thundera, Thundaga, there we go.
Yeah, but the gill turtles, um, fucked up. I know in the- oh, shit. <laughs> I know that the gill turtle is- is messed up. Don't ink me, bro! Alright, woof! Okay, still got the experience. We're good, we're good. Oh, this version is so much scarier to run than the PSP version, where, like, it's really hard for you to die in the PSP version by this point. You have crafted so much gear onto your damn everything. Your hands, your feet, your head. You you put like lord's robes over your over your head and, uh, as a shield. But like um you're you're functionally invincible. So like it's kind of funny to be running this and be like, oh god, a boss could kill me at basically any moment. <laughs> I've only got my, uh... I've only got my mages and they're so squishy. Okay, we're heading to Melmond. To learn Venice. There's Melmond. Yeah, I, I know that Gil Turtle is messed up in the way that you can actually get through the entire floor without encountering him, which was not possible in the original uh, FF5. You can just you can quick save around him in the GBA version, but not even that. It's like you can just like brute force it and get through all of the tiles without without encountering him, uh, which is just not doable. Like he's in a hundred percent encounter. Uh, when you do enough tiles in that cave, uh, in the in like the NES and GBA versions, but they have somehow fucked him up a little bit. <laughs> teach me that language. Teach it to me. Now I have to go get the chime. We are approaching the end. Uh, we've been two of the fiends now. We have to park up here. I wonder if this is a good opportunity to uh, get some experience. I guess I could try. Might also be terrifying. for my uh, sort of wanting to make chaos ever so slightly less terrifying. He's apparently an absolute shit in this, uh, in this version. Oh god, you're- yes! Got out of the way in one! Do the chime! Yeah, no, six pick sprite enemies. Big boys. Hello. Oh, you are so in the way. Alright, we are heading to Mirage Tower. Ew. Okay, I probably will turn off encounters again. This guy's a bit of a dick. Counters off. I said I could. I should probably just keep them off from now on. Uh, my HP values are high enough. My level is high enough. 
even have some leeway uh, in terms of the values. I don't know where you can park in this version. Here. I'm sure you can park a little higher up than that, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. I'm just not really good at finding where we can do it higher up. I did, I did buy some giant tonics and speed tonics. Yes, I do. I do have them in here somewhere. Yeah, there they are. Uh, you buy those in the PSP version as well, so I, I do know to buy those. I hopefully did pick up the warp cube. maps and the speaker and guide in an extremely strange way. Yes, I'm picking up a ribbon for my monk. Here. Diamond shield. That's the ribbon. It gave him a staff! Oh, damn it. Do not want a staff on my monk, thank you. It's a user optimizer, I guess it's sell with staff, so it still it still puts it on him. I think I'm fine otherwise, yep. The computer does, the computer knows best, poo on that staff! No, I can't get the war the warwick, I have turned! <laughs> The, uh, I have turned encounters off. Alright, now we are finally going to, uh, unstone our, our poor monk. And we're finally gonna start monk strats, so... Right over two? Uh, yeah, two instead of four. I still haven't beaten Marilith. We're gonna have to go get Marilith at the end. So we're not quite as near the end as I thought because, of course, we still have to go beat Marilith. But we're getting pretty close. So what we do here is we actually Giant's Glove for Saber. And Temper. I have to be careful with the auto battle because I don't want to like accidentally auto battle the haste on. Haste doesn't stack. Temper stacks, um, as does Saber, but haste does not stack. The war mech was a, a what is a one in a hundred chance, and yeah, it also took me like several hours to. Uh, to find him, the fucker. So now the strat is big punch. While healing with our, uh, ew, uh healing with our, uh, mages. Yeah, it's one in a hundred now. Someone data mined the Pixel Me Master version specifically. And yes, it, it was one out of 64, then three out of 64, and for this version, it's one in a hundred, or specifically ten out of a thousand, so the same thing as one out of a hundred. Um, so yeah, it's it's even worse than the Pixel Remaster. So these fights are still very scary, even with a few extra levels. 
on me. Um, she was definitely getting a little, a little scary. I, of course, if you're running this safe, you have a white mage with Hilara, and that definitely is a little, it's quite a bit safer. Um, but I decided to run bold, run spicy, even. Yes, leave, please. Thank you. All right, so we're now going to mount. Good luck. It's safely slow me <laughs> to. I'm turning. I've turned off encounters, so like I, you know, I only really safety is only for the bosses at this point. I believe this is Mount Gulg. I am gonna. I am going to a uh, cottage. Yeah, no, warrior's gonna be stoned forever. Monk's back, cause Monk now punches. Monk's now a big boy. We don't have any encounters, we don't have- we just- we just run through all of this. Not giving a shit. You just run through all this anyway and you don't pick up anything here normally, but I don't even have to worry about encounters ruining my day. Quick save anyway. damage on the lavatories. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Your night is nice. Punch and just Blizzaga, but I'm, I'm sure the speedrunners know better than I do. Maybe they're probably just way faster at menuing that. All right, that is all the crystals done. So now we're going to to fight Chaos. The good thing is with encounters off, Chaos's shrine is going to be a lot easier because frankly, it's the random encounters in there that suck because you can't run from a lot of them in the PSP version. So I will probably just cottage outside and we'll go for it let's do it this might be faster than my psp run but i love boosts go through this. Chaos could still decide to be a massive troll. I am, of course, like, even though I'm overleveled for the speedrun, I'm underleveled. Massively, like, Casually speaking, 
I fought him at a much higher level. This is going to be very interesting. There's an elixir in the top right chest, so I will grab that. He gives you like nothing, it's very funny. Play that loot. It has created a new boost category. It hadn't last time I checked. Like I am actually in the FF1 speedrun discord and stuff. I imagine it's much faster than my one, if anyone's done one. Oh, certainly much faster. That's empty. What's the, um, what's the world record for just FF1 pixel right now? <laughs> it's current world record. That would be funny. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I'll submit it. That seems a little, a little, a little cheeky even for me. Yeah, 141. Sounds right. Don't kill me, bro! Right, he's he's very goofy. Oh boy. Terrifying. Alright. Alright, alright, not dead, not dead. in a row, which he did do to me in my casual run, by the way. You're just so screwed. The quick save after beating him, you know, I don't need to. Alright. Go out and up and around. And I assume Marilith is basically the exact same strategy. Yes, sure is. I do think Marilith is a lot less scary. I do think the Lich is like one of the scarier uh, ones here. to the red <laughs> this is why you quick save in front of every single fight miss the door it's fine but yeah it shows that this you know 141 is 
record without boost, so you can see the, like, the power of boost that someone like me can just come in and, like, post a pretty close time. Kraken is like the exact same method, yep. Get used to this method, it's basically the one we're gonna use the whole time. could be like 120. I think it could be like real fast. And yeah, quick save, um, quick save manipulation is very common in basically every Final Fantasy. You do it in five. Quick save is something I do to get the, the guilt turtle shit. Yeah, he's dead. All right, we're good. He's probably the least scary. Tiamat is still very scary. We're gonna get a level off of Tiamat, which will be funny. Because they used to be, uh, they also used to be encounter tiles and not, uh, not orbs like they are here. That didn't do much damage, so that's good. to eat through the hell out of everyone past this fight. Okay, I'm gonna take at least two more punches. That should be okay. Bunch of really hidden super weapons in 12, including an invisible bow that is like a, an, in an invisible chest that has a ridiculously low chance of spawning and then of spawning the correct item. It's like a 1% spawn and the 1% chance in the chest of the invisible bow. It is utterly ridiculous, like complete nonsense. I'm gonna have to ether. Let's do it! All right! Oh boy, it's chaos time! Quick save me again, because I'm just so nervous! This could kill me so badly. If he does a couple of things turn one, it literally just says reset. One of them? <laughs> oh 
boy. Yeah, it, it says if you chaos turn on flare reset, and I see why, because, like, it didn't kill me, but I don't think there was any coming back from that. <laughs> Holy shit. One asshole. <laughs> Let's see if this run ever ends. <laughs> start. This is gonna hurt. All right. Kind of just hoping he doesn't kill my black mages here. Okay. <laughs> so I think they're gonna end up dead. Um, I pretty much don't have the resources to keep them alive. Dead now. Yep. Oh boy. I'm not really sure how this is supposed to go. I just I don't have very many resources here. Hmm. goes. If I fail, I fail. It's fine. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's bad. I don't think I have stacks. I could be wrong. jerk. What a jerk. I think my timer was slightly late, but that's, I'm not gonna worry too much about that. All right, two hours, two minutes. I watched that was faster than my PSP run last week. Boost is definitely, definitely gonna make the Pixel Remaster run an awful lot faster. <laughs> Jack would be proud. I keep killing Chaos. I'm like, how cheeky do I want to be? And like, I, I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I shoot up on this. <laughs> the worst world record ever. You got it. Boost. Empty.
Okay, time to start after confirming job names and uh, jobs and names. Ends up for a screen flash, which I think I was a little late to that. I did not bind two buttons to a single button. <laughs> and use of boosts is allowed. Cheeky, I feel. But uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I I was a little worried, but man, four times experience and, and Gil does overcome a lot. There's definitely like a lot of places. I mean, it was a first a first ever pixel remaster run for for a star, so I was learning the route the whole time, and. Uh, a lot of figuring out where I could cut encounters. I definitely, almost certainly could have stopped encounters much earlier. I did like the the buffer of health I had, for sure. I think it de the boosts definitely make it a, a more beginner-friendly run than the Pixel Remaster. I find that the Pixel Remaster by itself is, is not is not very friendly. Because it can, it can end basically any time. Garland can kill you. Um, you can lose a run in like three minutes because Garland, you don't get any encounters and Garland punches you in the face and you die. Uh, Astos is a pain, Astos is an absolute run killer. He's, a, he's just a killer. He He's killed PSP runs for me. He's killed, uh, he, he killed me in my casual, uh, playthrough. Um, he's just an absolute shit. And there's definitely a lot of, um, figuring out how much more money you- I- I'm sh I- I do think the community will figure this out, just how much extra money you get. And, like, just- because I had so much money at the end, I really was swimming in it. So it's like, you could cut out probably basically every skill chest, although I did need that X-Potion chest, so I did need to go get that one. But you could cut out almost every chest that gets money or consumables as well, um, with four times skill. Yeah, Astos is a fucked up little gremlin and I hate him. <laughs> he's way too pretty in Strangers of Paradise. He's a fucked up, he's a fucked up little gremlin who kills me, literally, bastard. But I, I would not be surprised. I don't think it'll ever get down to like an hour because even the PSP run doesn't get down that low and it can skip the cutscenes. <laughs> um, it will, the no encounters will save so much time compared to the, the normal run because instead of fleeing every encounter at the end, which does take time because every encounter takes you into the encounter, then you have to flee, then any enemy that attacks you first gets in and baps you. Um, so it can, every, like, flea you do can take at least, like, 20 seconds to a minute, depending on how shitty the encounter is for you. So it's like, just turning them off made those last dungeons incredibly fast. And it's definitely gonna be the balancing act of where you want encounters on in order to get money, and I think that, I think the encounters are gonna stay on early. Um, and go off later, just because it's early on that you need that money. And getting money early can do things like you can buy temper early, you can buy haste early. So you don't need to go back to these places to to buy these spells again, which saves probably a minute. Hey, it's the Pixel Remaster staff. You know, skip that. Sure, save my completed file. So there's my, there's my platinum file. Let's, uh, let's print my first speedrun file. Woo, two hours, six minutes according to this. 
probably counts a bunch of stuff that the uh the timer doesn't probably all the end stuff if i had to guess the credits but uh yeah that's that's a favorite also <laughs> um I, I, you know you don't class up in the pixel remaster uh run which is interesting because you do in the in the psp one but i imagine it just takes so much time to go get the rat's tail and go hand it in the any time saved by having teleport specifically because you don't have a white mage uh is is basically nulled whereas in the psp version teleport and exit and also the psp version has levels for spells and that might also make a big difference because in this version you can get and use blizzaga and firaga and i think in the psp version you, you're running arrows basically the whole time oh like Chaos kill can go way down, way down. I had a, I had a huge buffer. Um, like it wants you to be at like two, two forty HP for black mages, and three hundred for monk is like the lowest HP. Is is like the minimum safe HP. Can you do it level 10? Oh, that sounds terrifying, though. I can't even imagine trying to, uh... Try to kill Chaos at level 10. He's extremely mean. And in this version, he's probably even meaner because he's not... scripted. He's random. Like, my one used Kuraja at the start of the fight in my casual run. Which was very funny. And, uh, yeah, level 24 would also be scary. Uh, it's, it's almost certainly significantly less scary with a white mage. I do have to say, if you have a white mage heal Ara in every turn, <laughs> it's significantly less scary, which is probably why the safety run, uh, uses a, uses a white mage or a red mage. Uh, it's, it's slower, but you can heal Aura, which means you don't have what I did in my Black Mage just being dead and being like, oh shit, am I doing enough damage? But I did, I did get there. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. Let me, uh, return a title screen. Look, it's my bestiary. This fucker. Also, you can battle them. <laughs> Which seems ridiculous. There's a square for battle button there, which is very funny. But look at this fucker. Look at this little one out of ten, one out of a hundred fucker. They made him even rarer in this version. I do love there's a music player. Yeah, he's one in a hundred instead of one out of 64. He's a little shit. Yeah, you can run. Yeah, you can fight things. Actually, let me let me see what that does. I don't actually know what that would do. What is pressing the battle button? No, <laughs> this is a terrible idea. <laughs> I'm doing it. This is a terrible idea. <laughs> He is going to kill me. <laughs> I guess you do it with your last party. Probably should have just had my warrior. <laughs> do 45 damage. Uh, do a heal or something. So yeah, you could practice strats against chaos using this. If my monk dies, all my buffs go. <laughs> If 
I die? <laughs> Let's do it. What happens if I just die? Phew! Just nuke me, bro! It's true, the party was defeated. <laughs> so yeah, you could do like a boss rush out of this. There's like the different versions of each boss as well. Like the two Tiamats. But yeah, it's a really good way to kind of mat like like lab out some strategies without having to have like a save in a particular space. So it's pretty cool. We also have a beautiful gallery. Yeah! Yeah! Alright, well, I had a lot of fun doing a very, very silly... <laughs> silly, extremely rough boosted run, but that was, uh, that was fun. I enjoyed that a lot, and I hope you guys enjoyed that too. Thanks for telling me about the R3 button, that was very helpful. Alright, well, tomorrow we'll be back with a different Final Fantasy. We'll be back with more Final Fantasy XIII. Uh, the true villain of the game has revealed themselves, and things are heating up a lot. And, uh, yeah, I'm having such a blast, so... Uh, oh, I can, I can check that. Let me, let me have a look for you before I, before I sign off. I can check. No, okay, it looks like it is just in the in the main menu. There is no uh fight button. The other kind of annoying thing is that the best DRA does go across multiple saves. Um which I don't think will be a problem for the speed run. This speed run specifically any percent, but but yeah, it's only in the only in the uh, title screen one. Anyway, I was signing off. See you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.